Hello, I wanted to touch base with everyone today and I have a particular topic I want to talk to you about and it is sending your dogs to daycares or boarding facilities that allow your dogs to be social and play with each other. Now that can be someone's home. Uh, there's places called like Rover, Rover.com. I think that you can send your dog to someone's home and they have multiple dogs or there's pet sitters that take care of dogs, multiple dogs in their house myself included as a trainer, Stacy watches dogs as well in her house. So whether it's a major facility and it's a corporate chain franchise or individual small business or family run business, I want you guys to think about some things before you send your dog. First of all, please go take a tour of the facility or go over and talk to people. Everyone's going to have their own policies and procedures and they'll have their own thought processes on how they allow people into their facility and win. So talk to them in advance. Don't show up to a tour with your dog. Not cool. Okay. <laughs> we don't want your dog to show up the first day. That's not what we're doing. We are talking to you as an individual, as the dog owner, and about our policies and our procedures and how we run our business. You might decide this is not the setting for me. I don't feel comfortable with this, or this is not what I thought it was going to be. So then you get to go look someplace else. This is us interviewing you guys as well as you interviewing us. And it comes down to your dog. Not about you, not about me, not about the facility, the organization. It comes down to your dog. Do not take things personally. If your dog is not going to fit the criteria, there's for good reason, okay? We want your dog to be safe. We want your dog to have fun. And so there's all these different things that will be looked upon when assessing your dog to see if it's the right fit for these different settings. When you go look at these places, have your questions ready, okay? What do you want? What are you expecting? What are their expectations from you? So you have to give and take here. Does the facility do an assessment? If not, right there, that's a huge red flag for me. If you don't do an assessment, how are you gonna get to know my dog? And how is that going to work? So a lot of places do an assessment to see if this is going to work. There have been times that dogs have come over here for an assessment and I'm right on the cusp. I'm like, oh, I'm really not sure if this is the best fit for your dog. Let's give it another shot. So, you know, we can play around with it a little bit. I can tell you what I'm looking at. I can tell you the reasons that I'm a little bit apprehensive. And so maybe there are things that you can work on at home and maybe not. Maybe it's just the new environment. First time here. A lot of big differences and changes when you guys drop your dog off in a place they've never been before with strange dogs, strange people, and a strange environment. It's a big day. It's a big day. So if you take them for an assessment, it might be just two hours. It might be a half a day. Full day is a lot. So, you know, think about that and what you want that to look like for your dog. It's a lot of work. I'll tell you that. When you drop your dog off for assessment, because they don't know the protocol, they don't know the routine or the schedule, it's a lot of work from your dog and from the individuals working with your dog. So don't think that you're just going to show up and say, oh yeah, I'll swing by and you'll drop my dog off for an assessment and I'll be over around whatever, nine o'clock. Oh no, not happening. <laughs> so I'm extremely particular. And if you're coming here, it's going to be a set time. And if I say 9 a.m., it's 9 a.m. If you come 10 minutes early, that's going to throw me off because I might have dogs out in the field and they're going to go to the fence. They're going to bark at you. You're going to get your dog out. Then they all hang out at the fence. It makes it harder for me to get the other dogs in. So think about when they ask you to show up, how they like that done. There's some policies on, can you bring your dog in a certain door? How does that look? Do they have a lobby? Do they have a waiting area? Do they come out to you? These are all very, very important things to think about, okay? So an assessment's a big deal, and we'll learn a lot about your dog during that time frame. We're going to look at their sociability. We're going to look at their responsiveness to the handlers and the individuals and caretakers that are working with your dog. So you want a dog that's going to be responsive to them in a good way and be able to comply with things that need to get done, go into their crates freely, you know, it's really hard when you have a dog that refuses to go in a crate because you don't use a crate at home. Really hard. And then some dogs lay down and say, not happening, not going. Other dogs will dash away. 
I don't want to go to crate. I don't go to crate home. I want a bed with a human. <laughs> That's not going to happen here. So make it easier on us. Get your crate out if you don't use one at home and practice a week before. Make it easier on your dog. That's going to be the cue right there. Make it easier on your dog, right?